Welcome to Mbuya Parent School and Kindergarten, situated in Kampala City with modern well-equipped facilities plus extensive playing fields and amenities. Mbuya Parent School believes that a better future lies where children know how to find and create balances in themselves and the world around them. This explains our fusion of academic subjects and co-curricular activities. There are many opportunities presented to them to flourish both in and outside the classroom. I want to become a president when I grow up. Yeah, I want to be a pilot. I will be the best fashion designer. Mbuya Parent School. The sky is our limit. I'm Bamanyine Innocent. I'm going to take you through Science Primary 6, Lesson 1. The topic today is blood saturation or the saturatory system. In primary four, we learned about different body organs. These body organs are the ones that form the body systems. In primary five, we, we learned about the digestive system. In P6, we are going to learn about the saturatory system. The saturatory system is, is a group of organs in the body that transport different substances. In the saturatory system, we have what we call blood saturation. When we are talking about blood saturation, we are talking about this. We are saying blood saturation is the movement of blood in vessels in the body. The saturatory system has three components. And those components, the first one we have, the heart, The second one, we have blood vessels. And then the third, we have blood as a component of the saturatory system. In today's lesson, we are going to look at the heart, the parts of the heart and their functions. We are also going to look at the blood vessels that are connected to the heart. And then we're also going to look at blood, how blood moves in the heart. When we are talking about the heart, the heart is a muscular organ that pumps blood in the body. The heart is found in the chest cavity, and in the chest cavity, they are not only the heart is not the only organ which is there. We also have the, the lungs. We have this, there are two, and the heart is one. Our heart is covered in a tough membrane. And this membrane is called pericardium. I want you to see this. This is the heart. It is enclosed. Now I have just removed this part. This is the tough membrane called the pericardium. Pericardium. This is the word. Pericardium. The heart, this one which I have here, I got it from the goat. But since it is small, we said we can have the one from a cow which can help us to see those parts clearly. We are talking about the human heart. But now I have brought this one for these animals because they are mammals and human beings are also mammals. The heart has the same parts and the same functions. This is a mammalian heart. We also have the same. First we are going to look, as we say, that we are going to look at the blood vessels which are connected to the heart. We have identified the blood vessels by using different colors. 
color black, this one, represents the vena cover. We have the blood vessel represent with red. This one is the pulmonary artery. We have the blood vessel we have identified with blue. This one is the pulmonary vein. Then we have the one we have, we have, we have used green. This one represents iota. Those are the blood vessels that are connected to the heart. But we also have others called the coronary artery and coronary vein, but those ones supply blood to the heart. These are the ones that bring blood inside the heart. Our heart is made up of four chambers. We have two upper chambers and two lower chambers. The chambers of the heart, the two in the upper or the upper chambers, both of them, they are called atria, which is pururo, or atrium, when it is singular. We also call this one, they're also called oracles. These ones are in the upper. Now in the lower, we have the ventricles. Our heart is divided into sides, live along the four chambers. Now we have the sides. We have the right side and the left. As you can see, this one, now, when you cut across like this, the vertical section, it has the left and the right. But this heart, when we are looking at it like this, we place it like as if we are getting it from our chest. That's why the naming, you will find that the ones on your right, they will take the left. And the one on the left, they will take the right. But what separates the heart into the right side and the left side? That part is called septum. It is called septum. We are saying this is the real heart of a mammal. When this heart is cut across, we can call it the cross section of it, and we look inside it, it has different parts which are there. But now these different parts which are inside have been identified and we made an illustration on the chart where we are going to see them one by one, name them. We are going to have to move now to our chart. The chart we, are, we identify that is mammalian heart. All the mammals, they have the, the same. We, it is labeled, we are going to move part by part. The blood vessel marked with letter A is the main vein and is called vena cava. When we move the blood flows, this is one of the upper chambers. This one is called right atrium. Blood continues, goes to the ventricle. When it, it comes to the ventricle, we said that the, the, they have, we have the ones in the right and in the left. Now the ones on this side, this one, when, when I stand to eat like this, this hand is the right. This one is the left. But when I look at it, it turns. But that one does not change. This one still remains the right ventricle. This letter K, this one is right ventricle. Right ventricle. This right ventricle pumps blood now to move up. But there is a chance that this blood can go back to the atrium. Now we have part F. This part F, they are valves. And those valves are called tricuspid valves. Part F is for tricuspid valves. Tricuspid valves prevents blood from flowing back to the right atrium. 
Now blood will take this direction through these valves. And this one, they have the same name, and they are called semiruna valves. Now blood will continue with this part C. Now the blood vessel marked C is called pulmonary. Is called pulmonary artery. Blood vessel C is pulmonary artery. Now this blood is now going to the lungs. It goes to the lungs to be oxygenated. It drops their carbon dioxide and picks more oxygen. Now blood is again coming back to the heart. Now it is using blood vessel marked B. This blood vessel marked B is called pulmonary pulmonary vein. It brings blood from the heart, it brings blood from the lungs to the heart. Now it enters into the another chamber marked E. This chamber is now called it is now called left atrium. Left atrium. But no, I've told you we can still use the word orico. Now we have used atrium, but you can use orico. But it's on the left side. Blood flows now to the ventricle. This ventricle, which is marked I, is called left ventricle. Part G now. Blood in the left ventricle, when pumped, it can go back to the left atrium. But we have the valves which are marked with the letter G. That letter G stands for, for bicuspid valves. Bicuspid valves. Bicuspid valves, yeah, this one now blood will not go back because this one prevents the back flow of blood back to the left atrium. Blood will take this direction through the semilunar valves, which are marked with the letter G. They are called semi semilunar valves. That is part, that is part. G, then blood will continue now to go back to the heart, to the, to the body. Remember this A brought blood from the body. Now this one is taking blood to all other body parts, and this one is our main artery and is called aorta. It is called aorta. When you are, if you are too observant on the heart, there are some parts that we need to know. I mentioned the word septum that, sepa that divides the heart into the left and then the right. There are dots that are moving. These dots are labeled with letter H. It is the one called the septum. Septum, and we already have a word there, Observant enough again, look at the muscles of the right ventricle. Then the muscles of the left ventricle. All these muscles are called cardiac muscles because they are muscles of the heart. But the, the ones on the left are thicker than the ones on the right. These ones are thin, these ones are, are thicker. The one in the right ventricle, they are thin because it pumps blood to a short distance at a low pressure. This one is pumping blood to the lungs. But the ones on the left ventricle, they are thick because they pump blood to a longer distance at a greater pressure. We are going to have an activity. That activity, we have number one here, we say, name the parts A to K. 
But you will, to name these parts, you first draw the heart. Then after drawing the heart, you name the parts, part A up to K. Then you write, of what role are the valves in the heart? Because the valves are already seen. You have tricuspid and bicuspid valves. What is their use? Thank you very much for today's lesson. I wish you the best. Stay safe, always sanitize, wash your hands, and keep social distancing to control the spread of COVID.